through too. So, so some of us, we are now struggling with a five pound weight. But we really should be lifting a 15 pound weight. And, and the reason that you can't lift your 15 pound weight is because you haven't mastered that five pound
This is me and you. Yeah. This is the stuff that you blessed me with. Uh -huh. And you know, I've done everything that I could do. And your name is on the line too. Uh -huh. So I've done everything that I can do. So right now, if you don't do it, it just can't get done. Right. But I believe and I trust him. He's done it before. Yeah. And he'll do yeah. it again. Yeah. 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 See, it, it is the word that sustains me. It's the word that keeps me. It's the word that has taught me that I can trust him. Right. And the reason why I can trust him is that because of the things that he's already brought me out of. Yeah. Yeah. All right now. All right now. He's already done some things. And that's what God does. He'll, he'll do a little something, something, and let you know, I'm still here. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. But see, I need your faith to grow, so I'm going to pull back just a little bit and see who you're going to call on. See if you're going to call on mama. See if you're going to call on me. Uh, so you want mama to bail you out, so I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to sit back. Because you want mama to do it. You don't want dad to do it. You want mama to do it. You want sister to do it. You want cousin to do it. See, God has already brought me through some bad times. Yeah. And he's brought me through some very painful times. Yeah. He's brought us all through some of these things. So this is not just about me. Remember, we connected. If he did it for me, he did it for you too. Yeah. And so uh, he's brought me through some accusation. We've all been lying on. Or even some of the things that were saying was true, but it was none of their business. Yeah. 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 But the Lord has brought me through some very dark times in my life. Yeah. See, David was living in a very dark moment in the book of Psalms. And I believe David, no, he was. David was running. He was running from his son. Uh -huh, uh -huh. My, my, my. Yes, yes. A father running from his son. Uh -huh. This is a very dark place when you have to run from your children. Yeah, yeah. David was not a stranger to dark moments. In fact, he had a lot of dark moments. Mm -hmm. David had dealt with trouble most of his life. Yeah. Some yeah. of us feel that way too. Mm -hmm. That every time we turn around, there's trouble. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. See, David was raised in rejection. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, see, you know that he was put out in the field and left out there alone. Yeah. He was alienated. Uh -huh. And see, some of us may feel that maybe our friends, our family, may have alienated us. <laughs> maybe they put us out. But maybe that put out, I'm not talking about in the physically, put you out of their home. But maybe uh, what they've done was just cut you off. Yeah. But maybe what they did was ignored you almost like you weren't there. You yeah. know, yeah. You know. sometimes yeah. that's a form of rejection yeah. 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 too. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not even going to answer your phone calls, yeah. Benita, when you yeah. call me. See, David knew those feelings, and yeah. David was yeah. left alone, and yeah. he had become so used to trouble. Uh -huh. He had become so used to conflict. Yeah. All right. And every time he turned around, mm. David was faced with trouble. Yeah. He got up one morning to take, trying to do a good deed, go take his brothers some food to eat out of the field. Mm -hmm. And he had to fight a giant. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Doing a good thing. Sometimes when we're doing good, we're still faced with some obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. Just because what yeah. you're doing yeah. is good, don't mean yeah. it's going to be easy. Oh. Oh. So David, he was always facing trouble. But David was a bad dude, y'all. I, 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 I tell you, I love, right. I love reading and studying David because, you know, he was a fighter too. He yeah. was a fighter yeah. up in here. Yeah. But, you know, he killed hundreds of men. Yeah. He cut yeah. out their foreskin. He threw it on the floor. And then he began to look at the king and say, now what? Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. That's a bad man. Yeah. Yeah. Now what? 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 Yeah. 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 See, David was a man of war. He was a warrior. Yeah. And David, would, he would fight at the drop of a hat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. David was the kind of man to say, don't start none. Yeah. 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 That's, that's how David was, you know. Yeah. 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 We gotta go down, we just going down, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so he was like, if you ever want to start something with me, he said, I'll finish it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's how David was, but David was also a leader. Uh -huh. He took a bunch of lower class, broke down, unsignificant, unimportant, some blind and some lame men, right. and he trained them. Uh -huh. For war. All right. He trained them to be able to go up in warfare and didn't nobody mess with him either, you know? Right. But David wasn't afraid of trouble. Mm -hmm. I don't care how good you are at dealing mm -hmm. 
with trouble. All right. Every one of us, we're going to run into some type of trouble yeah. that make us feel that this one is going to take me out. Uh -huh.